Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a super short video, very 60s inspired, so I hope you like it and let's just get started. So I did apply some eye primer on my eyelid. I used the Anastasia eye primer and I'm just blending that out with a brush. I'm now taking a pencil brush. I'm going to go ahead and use a black eyeshadow. Um, this one I'm using from an Anastasia palette. You can use literally any eyeshadows that you have. Uh, but looking straight into the mirror, I'm just making sure I'm making a new crease above my crease. So that way when I open my eyes, you can still see that line. And then I'm going to take a small amount of brown eyeshadow. I'm using one from Morphe. Uh, and then on an, a small fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and angle the brush at a way where it blends out the top of that line, but not so much the lower part. Just so it's easier when we go in to cut the crease in a second. And here I am just using the same Anastasia eye primer and on an angled brush. I'm going to go ahead and just sharpen and crisp out that line that we just created. Also putting just a little bit more uh, primer on the lid so that way our yellow eyeshadow has something to stick to. Now this shadow I used from a BH palette. I believe it's the Trendy in Tokyo palette. Normally I love that eyeshadow, um, the, that yellow eyeshadow, but for some reason this day I wanted it a lot brighter. So I did take another yellow. I believe it's from the Anastasia and Alyssa Edwards collab. It was a great choice on my part. Um, and then now I'm just taking that same black shadow on an angled brush and I'm tight lining my lash line. And also instead of making a wing upward I'm doing it downward I was kind of going for a doe eye look kind of like twiggy so I thought maybe this would give me that effect and I actually really like the way it looked it gave it kind of an innocence to the whole look um, but anyways I did put white liner in my waterline and then I'm taking a very dark brown eyeshadow on another pencil brush and just going right underneath my eye bag. That way it's not too close to the lash line. I kind of wanted my eyes to look a little bit bigger. So I'm doing it right underneath that eye bag and I'm making sure it is most opaque in the outer corner of the lash line. Now on a another small pencil brush I'm gonna go ahead and just get some eyeshadow some brown eyeshadow and kind of drag it out uh, the outer portion of the eye to make kind of like lashes and here I am just lining my lips this is a Urban Decay 24-7 lip liner I believe it's in the shade Naked um, but while I'm lining my lips I do have a pair of lashes that is sitting with glue because we gotta we gotta use our time wisely you know so once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that on normally I try to go like in an upward but this time I am gonna follow my natural eye shape and then I felt like my lips needed to be defined a little bit more that lip liner before kind of blended in with my lips so I'm just taking a darker lip liner and I'm going uh, I don't know. I'm just doing the same thing I did before, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I am just defining my lips a little bit more. And then I do go in with a very nude lipstick right after this to fill in the, the lips. And then now I am... I don't know why I'm talking like a robot. It's really late at night and I've been doing this... I've been doing this voiceover like 6,000 times already, so I'm just trying to get it right. Oh my god. Um, anyways, that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!